one. So today I'm gonna do another one of those half face, high end, half face drugstore affordable dupes. I have done a few of these videos before on my channel, so I'll link my previous ones down below. Basically, yeah, it's just doing dupes for high end products. I'm gonna try them on and use them on my face so you can see how similar they really do look. I hope you guys enjoy this video and remember this makeup tutorial that I'm doing today is not gonna be anything like crazy revolutionary or anything. It's literally just showing you dupes. So first off, I'm gonna do the high-end makeup on this side of my face and the drugstore affordable side. So my first product is the Urban Decay Tightening and Brightening Primer. I haven't used this too often, but I do like it. It's not like a favorite, but it's nice. The dupe I actually kind of prefer, which is the Maybelline Master Prime Blur and Illuminate product. And I've talked about these primers a lot in my videos because I just love them. Like they're so, so, so good. So on my fingers, the Maybelline one looks a little bit more pink. And I feel like it does brighten a little bit better. It's more of a like illuminating product. The Urban Decay one is like brightening and moisturizing. Sorry if you can hear my chair squeaking. It's so horrendous. When you actually blend them out, they look very similar on the skin. Like they're almost invisible, but the actual like feeling of your skin, like the way they feel on top feels very, very similar. Both sides feel really nice and hydrated and they just look so nice and glowy. I mean, the Maybelline side is probably a little bit more glowy. Like it's a little bit more reflective, which I like. The Maybelline is like, a product you could use alone as well if you weren't wearing makeup just to brighten up your complexion it looks so pretty i love it they both feel the same texture like they're both kind of like tacky afterwards like nothing weird just like a little bit tacky for your makeup to stick onto afterwards next up foundation and for my foundation today i'm going to use an angled face brush to blend and then the two products i am using is makeup forever hd foundation stick and the australis or australis i always say it wrong the full-on foundation heavy coverage this has 12.5 grams and this has 15 grams my shade in the makeup forever is 118 and then my shade in the australis is natural fawn stick foundations are nice and quick i do have a first impression on the makeup forever one i like it more for touch-ups rather than wearing alone but i know a lot of people love it alone so that's why i'm showing you a dupe today personally on me this foundation does last a decent amount of time as well so that's how that side looks now if we go in with the makeup forever this one feels a little bit thinner when you draw it on your face so yeah it's a little bit more lightweight um, both of them have really good coverage as you can see the only difference really when I compare them side by side visibly is that the Australis has a little bit more of a glow to it. Also remember though the primer was a little bit more glowy on this side but yeah I prefer how this side looks though. Oh I feel like my skin looks really nice today minus these so let's move on to concealer. So as you can see there is quite a strong red undertone to my breakouts on my forehead. So since they're all kind of on the same side of my face I am just going to have to like compare them on the same side. So first off I'm going to show you the Naked Skin by Urban Decay in green versus LA girl pro conceal the green one i'm doing the alley girl down here and then the urban decay up here so the urban decay one the color is a little bit lighter as you can see not much so i'm just going to tap that out with my finger i'm using a different finger to blend these and i'm just going to use a translucent powder i'm not doing a dupe here just setting that with my finger God, my baby hairs are all in the way and then what's the side this side it's the australis so i'm just going to take some more of that on my brush and then blend over top. Don't worry too much if there is a slight green tint because I haven't powdered yet. So once I powder, it should even everything out. And after that, you can see that the redness has dramatically decreased, which is exactly what we want. If you do use green concealers a lot, that's a good dupe. Now for under my eyes, I actually figured this was a really good dupe. So Bye Bye Under Eye by It Cosmetics. It's quite a thick, sticky kind of concealer, really good coverage. And then the Wet n Wild Come Correct Celebrity Concealer. This is in the shade Fair. This one is in the shade Neutral Medium. So first off, I'm going to put a little bit of the It Cosmetics one under my eyes. I could just imagine this like squirting in my eye just then. Whew. So yeah, it's quite thick, sticky, but really good coverage and it really does kind of brighten the area as you can see. I'm just gonna use a flat eye brush to blend this out because my nails are so long. So you can see the difference as well, such a big difference. And then the Wet n Wild on the other side, this one's definitely a little bit thicker. Ooh, I used way too much, guys. <laughs> I definitely think that the It Cosmetics is a little bit easier to work with. So that's how they both look. Keeping in mind, I used way too much on this side, but they both do a really incredible job. If you don't like sticky products, though, this probably won't be for you. It's like super tacky. You definitely have to set it. But before we set it, I have a liquid highlighter to show you. So recently I did an affordable drugstore haul and I hauled this and I was like, oh my God, it's so good. And I said it was so similar to Coca Cabana. Is that how you say it? Co co no, Copacabana. Copacabana, the liquid illuminator. So let's test this theory out. Just taking a little bit of Coca 
Copac Copacabana, Copacabana whew, onto my finger and I'm just going to, oh, I used way too much, you guys. Oh, look at that color. Let's put some up here too. Let's just go like super glowy today, shall we? I'm just gonna use my foundation brush to kind of stipple that on. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. This is a really good product to mix with your foundation too if you're going for like that super glowing look. Don't worry about my eyebrows right now. We're gonna fill them in soon. <sighs> okay, and now let's do the dupe. This is Absolute New York, which I've never tried anything by this brand, by the way. Spotlight Illuminating 3D Liquid Highlighter. So you can see it looks almost the same. It's so reflective, you guys. This was so cheap too. So I've just blended it with my finger and then I'm gonna do the same thing. Just kind of stipple on top of it with your brush to make sure it's all really nicely blended. I think that looks almost the same. It's such a good dupe. But honestly, the NARS one is so like luxurious to use. Like it just feels great and it just has the cutest packaging. So another contour kit dupe. I love my Anastasia Beverly Hills, as you can clearly see, but I barely ever use this anymore because I've got so many affordable dupes, which I've showed you in other dupe videos. But this time I'm going to show you the Makeup Revolution dupe, which is the newest one I have. And I have been using this constantly since I got it. And if you look at all of the shades, you can see they look very similar. Like there's a dupe for almost every shade. So this is the Makeup Revolution. And then I'm just gonna flip the brush over and do the Anastasia Beverly Hills side. This is so crazy. I'm gonna zoom you right in so you can look at the texture. Can you see that the Anastasia Beverly Hills side with the It Cosmetics is a lot more cakey and it's kind of like clumped up. However, this side looks so much smoother. Next up, I'm going to use MAC Studio Fix Powder and the, ooh, and the ELF Pressed Mineral Foundation. Here's how they look next to each other. So this is the e.l.f. side, then the MAC side. The only difference is the MAC is less powdery. The e.l.f. one's definitely more powdery, but it's still a really good coverage and it gives a similar effect. Setting powder, honestly, like, it's just whatever works for you. I feel like there are so many good setting powders. I usually just use the MAC because I like it and I'm just used to it. I don't know, it just works well with everything. So you can still see that highlighter kind of peeking through. For bronzer today, I have this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Cheeky Bronze. And then for the drugstore side, I have Makeup Revolution. Vivid Baked Bronzer in the shade Ready To Go, I think. So here's the MAC and here's the Makeup Revolution. The MAC one is just a tad warmer, a little bit peachier, but on the skin they look very similar. So I'm just putting this on my cheeks and temples. So this product is a little bit shimmery, so it gives you a really healthy kind of glow. And then I wiped off my brush and I'm gonna go in with the MAC now. So hopefully you can see how similar they are. Next up, I'm going to prime my eyes. So on the high end side, I'm going to use Stay Don't Stray by Benefit. And then on the drugstore side, I'm using Chi Chi Insta Prime Brightening Eye Primer. Now I'm going back in with my contour kits. Ooh, contour kits. <laughs> I'm gonna take the skin tone color and just put that through the crease and brow bone just to set that primer down. This doesn't really matter too much. You could use anything for this. And then I'm going to take one of the contour shades and I'm going to put this in the crease. Now for the fun part, which is the eyelid color. Magnificent Copper by Makeup Revolution, the foiled eyeshadow versus Tom Ford Cream and Powder Eye Color. And this is in the shade Golden Peach. So first I'm going to do the high end side using the cream. And then going in with the eyeshadow that comes with it on the top. This eyeshadow is quite sheer. It just gives a bit of a glitter on top. So I'm just stippling that all over. And that's how it looks. To be honest, I am not a fan of this. Not because it's like completely crap. Like, I mean, I would pay for this if it was not a million dollars like Tom Ford charges. For the price you pay for this, it's crap. You know what I mean? It's just not worth the money. Now in with Magnificent Copper, the Makeup Revolution. I've mentioned these in my dupe videos already, like they're so good, but I haven't shown this color, I think. And for the price of this, this is such a good dupe and I think it's better. And I just wear it alone, like to get the same effect as this, but better, you don't have to wear an eyeshadow on top. Very similar effect, except this one's more intense. For the inner corner, I'm just gonna show you the same dupe I've showed you a million times. Stila Kitten Magnificent Metal versus the Makeup Revolution Rose Gold, which is my favorite. So here is the Makeup Revolution. Kitten looks the same, it's just chunkier. Like I way, way, way prefer the Makeup Revolution. It's so much better, like the consistency is better. There are certain things I love from high-end brands, but honestly, there are so many good dupes, like drugstore dupes out there these days.
Now I'm gonna do my blush and highlight. For highlighter, I have a e.l.f. dupe here. I might have shown this before. This is e.l.f. Pink Tastic Baked Blush versus the Chanel Powder Signi Illuminating Powder. I don't know, but I think this is discontinued. This is how it looks. So here's the Chanel side. And I picked this kind of color um, because I feel like it goes really well with that NARS Copacabana. This is a different brush, by the way, into the e.l.f. And I feel like the e.l.f. is a little bit powdery. It's a little bit less pigmented, but you just have to blend it really well and it gives a very similar effect. In fact, I feel like the e.l.f. one might be a little bit more reflective. so pretty right for blush today i'm going with a peachy pink to kind of match the eye makeup so i have dolce and gabbana the blush in rosebud and then i have nyx apricot blush and as you can see they look very similar i feel like apricot is a little bit more peachy but once you actually apply them to your face because you're not applying them opaque you're only applying a small amount they basically look more or less identical so again i'm using two separate brushes this is the dolce and gabbana Apricot is definitely a little bit more powdery. I think I may have used a little bit too much on this side. <laughs> I'm just using a duo fiber brush to blend out both sides. So there is the drugstore side versus high end. Let's do our eyebrows and lashes and we'll finish with the lips. I was gonna dupe the Precisely My Brow by Benefit for my eyebrows, but I didn't have a color dupe and I didn't wanna walk around with two different eyebrow colors. So I'm gonna dupe the Urban Decay Brow Beta, which I like it. I actually like the Benefit one better than both of these, but this is a really good affordable option if you do want something cheap. This is the ColourPop Brow Pencil in the shade Honey Blonde. And then the Brow Beta is in the shade Taupe. By the way, both of these have a spoolie at the end and then they look very similar up top they're both really 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 tiny i just prefer the formula of precise with my brow a little bit better i like the urban decay it's just a little bit too hard like it's super stiff for me i think maybe this one's too creamy <laughs> but they still look very similar once you draw them on it kind of depends what you want that's why i'm still calling them a dupe because the actual product itself is so similar the way it's styled in the packaging the way it looks at the end the actual application this one's definitely stiffer this one's definitely creamier depends what you want so there you go the colors are very similar the urban tea is a little bit cooler though and this one's a little bit warmer now i'm going to do taupe chi chi fiber brow versus the brow tamer in taupe by urban decay so here's the brushes compared to each other the longer one is urban decay the chi chi brush is better in my opinion it's smaller it's easier to control all right for eyeliner today i've got the ico i do eyeliner i actually really like this it's so pigmented it is one of those like pen styles which i'm not very good with i've actually used it a few times i'm kind of getting used to it but i like the formula versus the la girl liner matte eyeliner and i actually haven't tried this yet but the formula like when i drew it on my hand i haven't tried it on my eyes i've swatched it when i drew it on my hand it felt so similar and it looked amazing so i'm gonna test it out against this today I feel like this one's easier. This one isn't as opaque though. You have to kind of layer it up to get it really black. For my eyeliner today, I'm actually just gonna use a drugstore one on both sides. I hope you guys don't mind. Honestly, I love almost every single one of my affordable eyeliners so much more than high end. This is the LA Girl Glide Gel Liner in the shade Champagne and it's so pretty. For mascara, I'm going to do Benefit Roller Lash versus Lash Sensational by Maybelline. So the roller lash is this one here. As you can see, the wands are quite similar. The Maybelline one's just a little bit fatter, but they're very similar in shape. I love this Maybelline mascara, and I love the Benefit one too. So that's the Lash Sensational side. Makes my lashes huge. So that is the roller lash. And that's just one coat of each. And I'm just going to leave it there because I am going to wear falsies. I'm just going to reuse some. Look how gross that looks. It's like a little spider den or something. I'm going to use the Hero today from Exo Beauty. Now for the final step, the lips. We could do any color with this makeup. I feel like doing something quite warm. Maybe like a warm pink. On the lips, first for lip liner. And I may have mentioned this as a dupe in the past. I can't remember. I think I did maybe. Naked Urban Decay 24-7 Lip Pencil versus Skimpy Colourpop Lippy Stick. As 
as you can see the Urban Decay is like one shade lighter and a little bit more peachy. Now these liquid lipsticks aren't identical but they are very similar. This is Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Bellissima and then this is the BH Liquid Lipstick in Sorbet and Sorbet is a little bit more orangey. <laughs> And then it's Stila Bellissima. I love these liquid lipsticks. I've got a lip swatch video. I'll link it down below. The Stila is a little bit more pink, whereas the BH is a little bit more peach. Kind of looks like a cool ombre lip. Once they're both dry, they look way more similar. And then to finish off, two setting sprays. NYX Dewy Finish, Dewy Finish, Dewy Finish. I said Dewy like an American just then. I love this. Versus the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray, which I also love. I feel like the Urban Decay is definitely thinner, like less, like it's a finer mist, that's how I should say it. So that is the makeup look. I had so much fun doing this video for you guys. I hope it helped. I actually quite like this lip color, like the effect it gives. It's so similar, but not, you know what I mean? It's the closest dupe I could find for this color and I really wanted to use it. Eye makeup looks almost identical, like let's be honest, apart from the fact that I have mascara everywhere. So yeah, fingers crossed that this video did help you guys out. And if it did, please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed. That way all of my videos will pop up in your subscription box three times a week for free. So I'll speak to you guys in my next video. Bye. I really like this makeup look, by the way. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to check out the ones on the screen right now. If you're on a computer, you can click the screen or else the links will be in the down bar. If you're on a mobile device, the video on the left is a fake tanning routine video and the video on the right is a foundation routine. And if you heard that click, that was my wrist. Ow. Oh. Bye. <laughs>